So it started with goats, actually. It started with our cat. And then we moved to goats. And what are we adding today? Sheep. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is August and I just wanted to show you guys, look at how green everything is. Normally by August, everything is starting to turn brown and it is green and glorious outside. We have had one of the wettest summers. I love a wet summer. In fact, I love just sitting there watching the rain, especially from inside the house or inside the barn. Anyway, good morning and welcome to today. I called the vet first thing this morning. Yesterday was a holiday, so we aren't getting the results back on Chino's blood work until today. Oh, I've been so hardly sleeping because of it. We're gonna get the results today and I'm gonna share them with you guys. But while we wait, let's go out there and see what there is at the sales barn. It's packed today, you guys. That usually means there's something good here. All right, meat guy. Somebody brought their cow in the back of a truck. Mostly just cows. A lot of cows. So see, it's good we come here and get our baby fix. Oh, that one's pooping. <laughs> You're really cute. That is the face. Like, isn't that the most beautiful face? Cows are so stunning. I would like to add a couple more to our goat family because eventually I'd like them to have a couple of babies but not now and not in the next year because our girls just had babies. It's a rainy yucky day. People are staying home. <laughs> Although not the people buying. All the people buying are here but the people selling? It was dead. Nothing. Even our chicken guy wasn't here today but that's okay. We're not looking for anything. But it is just something that we like to do because we have a farm. We like to come and just like learn about new things. Oh, do you guys see it? It's hard to see. Do you see it in the window? My plan, you guys. I don't think the goats know we're here. The goats do not know we're here or else they become running. But it was Ollie that was in the window. He came back. He was we gone for a day. Oh, he <laughs> jumps through there. Normally I don't carry my phone with me, but today I'm taking that baby with me all everywhere I go. Somehow, Sophie and I have kind of been feeling like this little barn down here, this seven cell barn, has been kind of like a saving grace for us. It's been like our project. It's been our thing. And we're filling this baby up. He's so friendly. So it started with goats, actually. It started with our cat. And then we moved to goats. And what are we adding today? Sheep. <laughs> Joking. So, um, you guys know we've been struggling with the duck and the goose. We love them so much. They're honestly, that goose, I did not know geese were so just and so right and so sweet and so kind. I love our goose. So today, we're going to give them a new home. Right now, they live in like a little kind of chicken brooder and they just go in there at night. We also See want them to have like a bigger pasture that they can run around in. So this is their stall. This is the one we're going to use for the goats in the winter. We're going to bring the goats in this one in winter. We're going to have to take all the hay out. Yeah, we'll take the hay out. Sophie likes shavings better. I like shavings better. But it has a really nice hay feeder. And the reason we're going to put the goats here is because it's further from the door, so like when the wind and the snow comes in, they'll be able to stay warm still. We're gonna build some stuff in here, but these are our fall plans. We're gonna build a really nice thing for them to be able to climb on and climb under to get warm and cozy. So I read a couple of comments saying that it was unkind to keep our goats locked in at night. And uh, so everything I've read says that alive is kinder than dead. And when you have to protect from predators, nocturnal predators, your only option is to lock them inside of a barn and that they can do really well inside of a barn. They do better. Wait, wait, I want Kept to... safe than not safe. And we had a loss this year. We lost a duck and a goose and it was, it was, oh my gosh. It was so, it was so tragic for us. Like it was awful. Like knowing you could have protected them better is just heartbreaking. Like you just feel so guilty and I, we just, I can't do it. Like I can't. Just leave them running, knowing that there are, are nocturnal predators that would love to eat them. All right. Are we making a cage? Yeah, we're making a cage. We are gonna put them in here. We're gonna make their nighttime house down here. Um, we could even put uh, their pool in here. We could put a pool in here even and keep it full of water for them. But 
the um, cat is the issue. So a lot of people are saying that the cat won't hurt them, that the goose is big enough, and that's probably true, and I believe you, but I'm too scared. <laughs> I quit. So Sylvia and I are gonna wrangle this metal thing and fix up a safety shelter for our duck and goose. something else to put on this side. Sophie says don't worry about this side because the cat doesn't, well actually how would the cat even get in there? There's no way the cat could get between these bars. Yeah, yeah. he's too fat. Like there's no way. Let me so, this. Yeah. Oh good, so that's good. We don't have to do any of that. So in fact, okay. we didn't have to do any of this. What are we thinking? Huh? Just the doorway is the part where the cat can get in. He can't get through these wires. We're not taking it out. No, we're not farmers, guys. <laughs> I told you earlier, he's too fat. All right, so, but my question remains, how do I get to the top of this barn? Is there, oh, there is a spot. I'm like, how do I, there has to be a spot to get upstairs. You climb up this ladder and you open that door, but it's not happening and I'm not doing that. Well, hello. This isn't my favorite one. I know, but I like her too. This is Rosie. I love Rosie. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss, kiss. Oh, <laughs> talking to them. She's so cute. The babies are like She's the most so friendly. She's so heavy. She's got a little grass belly. Yeah, these, these horns are the worst. Hey, Mocha. What are you Stop doing? torturing the cat. Don't chase the cat. You guys, yes, I did get a haircut. I only had time to go to the barber and get a haircut. It's been a, over a month I should have got a haircut, but. Anyways, I went out today, got some supplies, got some shavings, got these fly traps. I had fly traps and I packed them away. They're in a box somewhere. I don't know if they're in the barn here or they're in my other little area that I have my stuff in. And I know I packed two of them, but I don't know where they are. Anyways, what I noticed about this farm is that there's flies here. There's a lot of flies here. We didn't have flies at the other barn. This barn we have flies, so I'm gonna be using these traps. And I'm gonna put one outside, and I'm gonna put one in the barn. It's kind of windy today. Lots of wind. I still need to buy more light bulbs. Hi, Willow. I need to change all the light bulbs. I'm gonna change that one, and I'm gonna see if that one works. That's probably just a bad light bulb. My goal is to try and have those new lights in soon and then um, another thing is the barn the goat barn that we call the goat barn I still change all their light bulbs I, I'm, I switch everything to LEDs now so and a lot of the light bulbs there aren't LEDs so I have to switch all those there's a lot of flies running around here you think there wouldn't be because you know it's pretty clean but there's lots of flies, I don't know why. So I'm gonna put it up probably, hang it up here away from everything. All right, so I hung one up here with some baler twine. Hey, another 101 uses for baler twine. Anyways, I got it hanging up there. Filled it up to the line with water. And yeah, we'll see how many we catch. I might use the other one here for the goat barn. I haven't seen many flies down there yet. I was down there today and didn't see any flies, so. Whoa, do you guys see it? 
Storm and Penny. By the time I got my camera to work, they were like nose to nose almost. It is cold and dark and it is going to storm, but the horses are calm and relaxed and happy. We planted more grass seeds, Sophie and I, last night. Okay, I'm so glad you love being, I'm so glad you love living the farm life. It started raining and then she ditched me. I ditched her. What? Um, so, oh, we got some eggs here. So uh, this was the brooder where we used to keep duck and they goose. They were all in bed. Were they in bed? Are there any? We need to paint this. I just got that brown egg. Oh. Sophie and I, so it's been dark and dreary all day and awful out, and Sophie and I get bored so it's fast. Biscuit. It's Biscuit. Look Hot how Biscuit. Cute she is. is it a Oh, yeah, she's a girl. We only kept the girls. Hot Biscuit. You're looking really cute. Can you see? Let's see. I don't think so. We should put her hair in a pony. There you go. I got eyeballs. You got eyeballs. She's really cute. It's actually really cold in here. I love when the lights are on in the barn. So much better. It's freezing tonight. So sadly, I called the vet back today and they still don't have the results. And he says that because of the holiday, it's even likely that we won't have the results until Friday. So he's gonna uh, wait it out. And if they don't get them, by Friday, he's gonna call them and harass them because it's insane having to wait this long, but it's just the process. Gino's happy out with his friend. He stays in for breakfast till all of his food is done. Gino spends time every day in the pasture with Hello. They share lunch together after Gino eats all of his breakfast and then he goes back into his stall at nighttime to have all of his dinner. So he's still able to have time with his, with his family and with his friends and he loves a salt lick. I asked him if we could start the drugs because the, start, the drugs for thyroid are the same drugs that you take for insulin, but he said he doesn't feel comfortable starting drugs until he gets all the, all the meds back. So unfortunately, we're stuck waiting. Good. I use this as like my hand because she's so short. And honestly, it's been so super frustrating. Like it's been so frustrating waiting. I hardly sleep. Hey, Storm. Hey. Stay away from my pony. Be nice. Cross over. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. So she's teaching her to cross over. Did you guys see it? <laughs> it's the start. Tell me it's raining without telling me it's raining. <laughs> so on days like this when it's raining and... They won't want to go outside anyways. Yucky out. It's like barely spitting. And they, they're like, uh, no. But I spent the day learning about goats and it has been amazing. Goats who are at least friendly. I love getting new pets and then spending all my time researching them, searching them and figuring them out, like their diet and their, their environment and like all the things. Like before we got them, I knew a lot of the basic care, but now I'm delving into like all the advanced stuff and it is fun. Who's peeing? Mocha. Oh, Mocha. <laughs> I love how they squat. She's it's so cute. Alright, so tonight is the first time that we're gonna try the duck and the goose in their new bed. I Zoe likes this food. Come on. We're trying to go to bed before the tornado hits. Come on. <laughs> Lucy learned that from Zoe. There's a hook there for water, but they would never be able There's to get it. A hook. It's your new home! Oh my lord, you are so loud. Can you close that? Yeah. So ideally, I have food. We have to go fill up their food bowl too. We She's have like, food for them. Grass. But ideally, we would be able to let them live with the duck or with the goats. She gets this is your new body. home. I promise it's way better than the one that you were in. What do you think? Look, here, try lettuce. People say that they love lettuce. Ellie, stop. Ellie? I had to lock Ellie in a stall to get them in here. She's like you. So why don't ours like lettuce? Cause they're not like, they're picky. And Lucy just doesn't even want to try. I think it's just, oh look. Does she like it? 
Yep, she likes it. I should have broke it smaller. So I think they will get used to it. She's like, what'd you find? <laughs> so today I read that geese are so amazing yeah. that they are brave and strong, but also they will get a duck in trouble if it's being a bully. Like they will discipline a duck that's being a bully.